doing a return is making money. Hey guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I had a bunch of errands to run and I thought why not take you guys with me? I actually made a list on my computer of all the things I need to do today. All of the errands I need to run. I honestly have a lot of returns to do. Like the main thing that I have to do is returns. I bought quite a bit of stuff before I was laid off and now that I'm laid off I'm like okay I don't necessarily have as much disposable income so maybe I should return some of these things if I haven't worn them in there within the time window. Let's look at what we have to do. What? What's, what's going? What? Did I just accidentally delete the list of things I needed? do oh yeah 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 yeah. okay i remember everything that i need to do first of all i recently listed a bunch of stuff on poshmark so i need to package up all that stuff and drop them off at the post office so that'll be the first thing that we're gonna do just so we can get it out of the way you guys can get your little poshmark orders as fast as possible i will link my poshmark down below for you guys if you're interested whatever clothes is left over that no one has bought yet and then i have some clothes so i actually have i'm giving you guys like a to-do list of all stuff i'm wearing this super cute skirt i shared it with you guys on tiktok and on youtube it's like the lululemon align skirt it's so cute one thing that i do with clothes a lot is i order it in two different sizes and i decided to keep the size six instead of the size four so i'm going to return the size four have it worn it i just didn't know what size to get because i ordered them online and then i also ordered this little work top from abercrombie which i think is really cute i also ordered it in black and i liked it in black i think i'm actually gonna try on the white one just to make sure that i want to return it because i didn't get it on sale I had like a coupon for my birthday, so I'm like, it was much cheaper than if I bought it not on a sale. And then I have some jeans that I ordered as well. There's a couple to do things that we need to do before we go run our errands. So I actually want to try on this shirt and then two pairs of jeans that I ordered to make sure if I want to return them or not. Okay, this is the top with the skirt that I was wearing before. I like the cut of it. I like the way it looks. However, it is pretty see-through. What I'm wearing underneath this is cakes. Cakes are like pasties. I can never see them in white shirts, but I think I can see them through this shirt right here i think i should probably return this i just don't think this is super flattering on me and not even that it's like not flattering too it's also like pretty see-through so i think we're gonna return this for sure it sucks i got it on sale if i'm never gonna be able to wear it i initially bought this with a plan to wear it to the office but number one i was laid off and number two if i get a new job i really can't wear it to the office if you can see my nipple covers through it so we're gonna return this for sure i got two pairs of jeans i'm still really unsure about these jeans so my favorite 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 pair of jeans i accidentally ripped i don't know if i ripped them in a way of like they were too small for me or if like they just got caught in something but there is a slight rip kind of like by the pocket on them and so i decided to order them again and these are not the exact same pair of jeans <laughs> i think they're the same but they're not the same wash my favorite favorite pair is much lighter of a wash than this so i don't really know what's up with that but my size that they had available they didn't have a super long size available for it i ordered a 27 30 and i typically am a 27 these are levi's so i ordered a 27 30 i'm usually a 27 in levi's that's only like my perfect size but the 30 is a, like a little bit short on me so i also ordered the 2832 because that's the only other size that they had available they didn't have a 2732 so i was like i wonder which one is going to look better still cannot figure out which one i prefer so i'm gonna try both these on i really wish i didn't wait till the very last second to decide but i love these pair of jeans these are the mid-rise baggy dad jeans i have a very short torso so i personally prefer a more mid-rise look because i think the high-rise stuff like goes up to my rib cage and it's not super flattering on me so i'll link all the stuff down below for you guys if you're interested in all of it we need it we need to try these on this is our first option so this is the size that kind of fits me like an absolute glove i think this size and jean is like the perfect size for me however i feel like it is a little bit short around the ankle i actually own these jeans like i was saying earlier and they kind of shrink a little bit so they kind of went up a little bit higher which i think shortened my legs a little bit but i do love the look of these like they just fit me so perfectly but i'm afraid they might shrink a little bit in the wash or they might kind of you know not get as long or maybe they get tighter i don't know but i do feel like this size fits me so 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 perfectly now I'm gonna try on the bigger size that is a little bit longer on me and I don't own this one So like these this is the exact copy of ones that I own just a little bit darker of a wash Apparently I thought I ordered the same wash I guess I didn't but I still like this wash So we're keeping it and then this other pair is a little bit longer and bigger This is the other pair the longer and the bigger pair I definitely think they give more of like a baggier look They kind of like bag up a little bit around my feet if you can see that and they're almost like brushing the ground But my heel is like slightly taller. They're also like a little bit bigger. I was saying that like these are kind of like olive garden jeans like in my mind i categorize jeans as like standing jeans sitting jeans these would be great jeans if i ate like a fettuccine alfredo i think they're really cute 
I like both of them for different reasons, but I don't want to keep both. I don't know. I don't know which one I'm leaning towards. I think that I'm going to post on TikTok and ask your guys' opinion so I can have a more immediate reaction. I just don't know which one I want because when I try on the first pair, I'm like, that's perfect. Then I try on this pair and I'm like, a completely different look, a completely different vibe, but I love them. So I just, I can't ever make up my mind, especially when it comes to like two things that fit me well. They just fit me and give me a different aesthetic. That was the same issue that I had with the Align skirt. Like one of them was more of like a daytime skirt. The other one was like a little bit shorter, more of like a nighttime look. And you guys told me to go with the bigger size because I could wear it more often. I mean, I guess I could wear this one more often because I could eat fettuccine Alfredo in it. Endless pasta, endless breadsticks. But I just don't know. What do you guys think? I need to run these errands, but I'm stuck on the sizing. Okay, update. I posted a TikTok about it for your guys' immediate reaction. I'm gonna go into Levi's today and hopefully they'll have like the perfect size and length in store because they didn't have them online. We're loading. I'm pending my opinion. As of now, I think the bigger ones might be my favorite. I don't, I'm so indecisive. But I also changed my top, so I'm wearing my blue lemon aligned skirt, and then I'm wearing this like top from Forever 21 that I got in high school. I think I was 17 when I got it. It kind of makes it look like a dress, like one thing, but our first order of business is we're going to package up all of our Poshmark orders, post office, and then we're gonna go to the mall, do our returns, and then we have some Amazon returns. So quite a bit of stuff to do, but Poshmark packaging up those orders is first thing before we can even start our errands. of orders i have them filled to the brim in a tote bag and a backpack and then i had a couple to-do list orders i have a small business where i sell to-do lists i'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested in just checking them out but i had some orders so first stop post office second stop mall and i'm also oh i almost forgot to bring my returns they're in here that would have been can you imagine i go to do returns and i forget the returns but i'm also bringing my amazon returns to return some of that stuff Just dropped off all the packages at the post office. I actually just posted this on my Instagram story, but I'm so glad that Taylor Swift is coming out with a new album because I was saying that I was like, this girl always releases albums like right when my music isn't hitting. Like all the songs I've been playing, I'm just like so tired of them that I'm so happy that she's coming out with new music so I can finally have something new to listen to. When I go on my hot girl walks, when I go to the gym, I feel like I've been listening to music a lot more because I've been going on walks a lot more. I'm also gonna bring in my Trader Joe's bag for my return because I realized it was in here and I just love toting this thing around. I'm just so happy that she's gonna release new music that means i'll finally have some new music to listen to where every single time she releases an album it like perfectly lines up when i'm feeling like fatigued from all my favorite songs and then i feel like after i listen to her new music for a while then i feel like re-energized to like go back eventually like months after like obsessing over her new music to the music that i used to listen to before so it's a win-win i'm gonna pull up my abercrombie i hope that they'll let me use like my app or email to return i think they will just because i don't think they even sent me a return label or like a code start a return there was never like a piece of paper like a pack can slip in there. I don't know if it was a mistake or if I just, I don't know. We are returning. Why am I returning? Quality not as expected. See through. <laughs> oh, I spelled three wrong. Wait, can I, can I return? It won't let me return it. I want to return it in person, but it's wanting me to return it online. I don't want to do that. Update. I found the email that I have like the barcode so I can return it. I think I'm going to go into Abercrombie and ask them if they have that like perfect size. Did I already say this? I think I might have, but I'm going to just check to see if they have it just in case. The front seat of my car is very overwhelming. We have my purse. We have the back of my tote bags. We have my mall returns and here. I don't know what this white stuff is. But in here we have my Amazon returns. Lots of stuff. The one thing that I love so much about returns is I feel like I'm making money. Like it's my side hustle as if I didn't buy all this stuff myself. Like I'm really just refunding the money but to me I'm like doing a return is making money. Girl math. I just want everyone to take a moment and look at this. I got this spot closest to the entrance. This is the entrance of the parking garage parked right here. Like right there, that's the entrance. I have never in my life been so lucky to get the closest spot. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I've had a string of bad luck. I feel like it's really turning around for me. There's nothing that gives you more hope in life than finding a good parking spot. I truly believe so. That may sound dramatic, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Oh no, I hope this guy, oh thank God, there was a guy behind me, that one. I really hoped he didn't think that I was trying to get out of this spot. Honestly, this makes me want to lap around the mall a couple times because I don't want to give up this spot. Okay. 
couple things. Four things? Three things? Five things? I don't know. Wait, but first, always lock your car. Even when I'm like chit-chatting in a little parking garage, I gotta lock my car. First of all, I realized the reason I got such a good parking spot was because it's the middle of the day on a weekday. Everybody's at work. They're not at the mall. No wonder I found such a great spot. I walked into the mall completely empty. Not completely. There was like barely any people. I was like, oh, makes sense. There's no one here. It's people are at work. <laughs> Number two, I love how easy returns are. Returns are so, 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 so easy. I just pull up a QR code, bam, bada bing, bada boom, done. Three, I did not walk around the mall. I'm here to make money, not spend it. I don't know why my car is dingy. Stop it, hello. Oh, like Siri was going off. She thought I was talking to her. Stop, sh sh girl, no. Fourth thing, I went into Levi's. All they really had out was jean shorts, which makes sense because it's almost summertime in Arizona. Like I really will not be wearing jeans for much longer, but I love jeans for like I'm traveling or like, I know, I think that jeans go with so many things and I love Levi's jeans because I think they're very like light and airy which is perfect for weather like here like I don't like a super I talked to one of my friends about this she loves like a thick non-stretch jean I love like a thinner stretchier jean and I think Levi's is perfect for that and like perfect for like the type of weather in Arizona they didn't have it and then I wish I would have brought the jeans I didn't bring them because I was like okay I have to go to the mall later this week anyways because I have something to do but I wanted to just get these returns out of the way today but I wish I would have brought because everyone on my TikTok is saying the first pair of jeans look better it's always the opposite pair that I think always the one that I'm like, I want A, everyone's like B. If I'm like B, everyone's like A. And honestly, if majority of people think a certain way, they're probably right. So I'm probably gonna keep the ones that are more my size and return the ones that are my size. But next up, we need to go to return my Amazon packages. I wanna see where I can return my Amazon stuff to because sometimes it lets me return to Whole Foods, sometimes it lets me return it to the Amazon warehouse. Very inconsistent. Let's see, where can I return this to? Oh, perfect. I'm like almost at the deadline to return this too. Amazon returns are also so easy. Basically, this is a vlog of me making money, right? I've been trying to do this thing where I refund it instead of refunding it to my Amazon account balance, but I'm refunding it to my credit card, back to my credit card. Because I think, oh no, it's gonna make, it's not gonna let me drop it off where I wanna drop it off. Sad, whatever, I'm gonna have to go. But whenever I return it to my Amazon account balance, it like credits me a gift card and then I'm like, oh, it's free money. It's not free money. <laughs> it's not. Okay, so now we have to go all the way to Phoenix to drop this off. I love where I live because I'm kind of just like in the center of everything like I could get to like three four different cities within like 20 minutes I mean, I would prefer not to drive 20 minutes to go over here for this return, but please let this one No, no, I have two returns and I really hope they'll let me return it to the same place because sometimes it makes you go all over the place Yes Yes Woohoo! Today is a good day you guys today is a good 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 day Okay, now we're off to Phoenix to the Amazon warehouse Woohoo! And then after that, I think our errands will be done. I hope so. Oh, it is kind of far. It's further than I thought. It's also going to be in rush hour. It's whatever. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Today's a great day. Can't get me down. I mean, honestly, you could get me down, but we'll see. My Amazon returns are done. Sometimes it's a little confusing because there's so many different... Why is the lighting like that? What was that? It's sometimes confusing because sometimes they're like, oh, well, the personal scan it. Oh, use this machine. Oh, use this other machine. There's a lot of machines. I did my returns. I made a ton of money. Not, I mean, like, did I? I probably made, made like $200 in all of this, which, love that. $200 back in my bank account. <laughs> but now we're gonna go home and we're gonna battle rush hour. Just walked in the door back home from all my errands. Honestly, it wasn't as many errands as I thought I had. I thought I had way more. But I hope that you guys liked this kind of like short style vlog. Quick, let me know if you guys like this. If you guys like longer vlogs, definitely check out my weekly vlogs. Those are like anywhere from like half an hour to an hour long. So I cannot believe all oh, my Apple Watch is dying. Oh well. But I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.